Hello, this is a Superman and Julie Jung. A couple of days ago, I had a phone scam, and I'm sure that it could be you today. This was the first time in my whole life, and especially from a r a b country. So I'd like to show the way they did to me because I don't want to be the next victim. If you run the online shop, you may pay attention on this. By the way, the scams in Korea we call voice phishing. What are some common types of scams? Common types of scams are debt collection scams. Most debt collectors will contact you to collect on legitimate debts you owe, FDIC logo misuse, grandparent scam, mail fraud, money transfer or mobile pay, payment service fraud, lottery or prize scams. I had money transfer or mobile payment service fraud. I have been running SC.com since 2022. I didn't have many customers yet. But I, I had the orders from customers and I knew the way of process the SC system works. However, if you haven't had an order yet, you may be a victim of this money transfer fraud. I did actually what they asked me to do with a curiosity. Why? They asked me for my credit card information. Here it is. Where I got the message from a customer like this. So first time, she probably sent me in Korean. So I sent my message, hi, this one is good for a gift. Would you like to have it? What can I help you? Then she sent me. I am interested in purchasing as the condition and price seem to fit. However, when I click the this order is a gift button, as he asked me for the seller's email. Could you please provide me with your email to complete the purchase? Kind regards. So I was actually at the time I was wondering why they asked my email. By the way, giving the email address is not that big deal. So I gave it to her. Thanks. I'm so wondering why they do. Otherwise, mine is hyuniase at gmail.com. Then thank you very much. I paid for everything. I check your email. I'm wondering if you are paying through PayPal. I asked for that because, you know, my PayPal account is email. So this one is different actually. That's why I asked her. But she didn't answer. So I went to mygmail.com. Here I got the email from her. Let's check. So actually this one from real SC. What I mean is SC sent me our conversation with her. So watch this. She sent me first in Korean, right? And under there, we are keeping the conversation. And this is the older email. Actually, they say the payment has been successfully complete, completed. The buyer has completed their part and is now waiting for your confirmation, he said. And here, the address. Actually, right now, they changed the address, email address. But before, when I checked the email address, It was a different with. It was this one. Show you. 
so you can see the up there sc.safereu.com something like that the email was from sc safereu.com so that's why I believe them you know then this email right this email change it later and look at the essay and um, the message all the message i i could believe that that time you know then the what's what's the next thing is you know i press the uh, validate deal and procure payments i clicked it and that goes to they show this one and look at that exactly that looks like order isn't it so up there still sc safer eu dot something what was that f top eu f top okay f top f top then I press the receive okay everything look good why right? and even they show the customers the information the name and address and phone number of course the phone number is covered up anyway the, the, there is the address the home address the delivery ad deliver address so I go to the Google website and I put the address it shows it shows the exactly the even I have a pictures you know so with this address even I have a pictures so I was like okay this is a real order so so I told you I checked the you know address and everything okay so I press the receiver first I press the receiver here then the the pop-up will be like this it shows the my credit card you know information they asked me my credit card information i was you know thinking customers information but i don't have you know the customers the credit card information so i was wondering i went back to before and i clicked the open chat with sophia <laughs> so like this one So it asked me, hello, the buyer has successfully paid for the goods and shipping. Verification of your account is required to receive payments. During the verification process, we will request the confirmation from your bank and you. You have 30 minutes to complete the transaction. Please click on the receive button to continue. So I did. Hi, I'm a technical support agent for SC. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me in this chat. And system say uh, to receive money you must provide your card details i was wondering your data will be kept com confidential your safety is our top priority so i was wondering hello do i have to provide my credit card number then he said yes this is necessary to verify the information and make sure that the card belongs to the client our service works for your safety and we do our best to make our best to make the transaction safe hmm see and I was wondering but I want to you know take the order because this one seems like real order so I need to ship the product to, to my valuable customer so I put the my card numbers but it doesn't work very well so I was wondering 
And I get back to Sophia and ask, you know, trying to ask her. And she gave this information. The transaction security system has requested additional verification. Enter the current balance on your card. The system will verify this information and assign you verify the card holder status. The transaction security system has requested additional verification. Enter the current balance on your card. The system will verify this information and assign you verify the card holder status. And system say, wait on this page and don't go anywhere. So I stayed for a long time. Data validation is in progress. Due to the high load on the server, server it may take a few minutes. You know, I'm uh, uh, waiting and waiting and keep waiting. Support, it is necessary to enter the current card balance. If it is a credit card, then the limit balance. This is necessary to verify the information and make sure that the card belongs to the clients. Our service works for your safety and we do our best to make the transaction still safe. Hmm. You know, I do, I did keep doing this and waiting and, you know, something like that. You know, and you say, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I mean, I gave the balance, I mean, you know, a limit of a card. And they say just, you know, the server are very busy and cannot process the transaction fast enough. We apologize for the wait. Please do not leave this page. She keep holding me. And the last step of verification, within five minutes, you will receive an SMS with a code on your phone. Please note that this is not a payment transaction. For security reasons, the funds will be frozen for five to ten seconds. This is a security measure of all banks. Within five to ten seconds, the money will be transferred to your card. See? Mm. So the last step of verification, within five minutes, you will receive an SMS with a code on your phone. Please note that this is not a payment transaction. For security reasons, the funds will be frozen for five to ten seconds. This is a security measure of all banks. Within five to ten seconds, the money will be transferred to your card. Warning, the must enable 3D secure, an online payment protection method so that the transaction is secure in your bank's app on your phone or call your bank's hotline. Let me know when you do it. Thank you. Huh. See, so I sent the text. You don't send me the code. I was waiting for my phone because I was doing this with my, you know, mobile phone. So waiting for the code, but they didn't send it to me. No, they just, we cannot send you a code because you do not have 3D secure enabled. So the last verification step within a minute, you will see a confirmation in your banking app that the money has been received. In order to receive the money, you have to agree, okay? No. Attention, a push notification has been sent to you. Exit the site and exit the site and confirm the push notification in the mobile bank application on your phone. At this time, if I had, you know, my bank application on my phone, probably I had you know, problem with them. Please note that this transaction is not a payment transaction. Well, I mean, this is the same, but uh, your money will be returned to you within 10 seconds after accept accepting. Awaiting the 3D secure and for the 3D secures and the, the, the pin number or something like that. But uh, it doesn't, it didn't get through. So they asked me, please enter the card password, you know, something like that. So I put the password even pa I gave a password. Even I gave them password. See, hello Sophia. My credit card isn't connect to my checkout account. I gave them my information to them. Otherwise, my mobile isn't also registered to my business account. What should I do to verify? Ha! Huh. I was idiot. Yeah. Can I help you? Something like that. It's the same. Same. Then the it says servers are very busy and cannot process the transaction. That's enough. We apologize for the way. Please do not leave the, this page. So I wait. Okay. My mobile phone available is 8210-8245-3261. I gave my mobile phone number even. And probably you may use this mobile phone number to verify. See, I gave all information. Please enter your card password. I put the password. Then... It was amazing. They sent it to me very verification confirmation, you know, to, to verify my information, you know, in, in Korean way. That's in Korean way, exactly. You know what? In Korea, when I get the 
my bank information or send the money to someone else you know they send to me that kind of you know form and i put the you know my phone number and the um, service phone service you know company info then they send me to my cell phone the pin numbers and when i put the pin numbers the to I gave them the pin numbers. If I give them pin numbers, everything will be done. So I was wondering. It was amazing. They sent me the Korean way, the verification, you know, inform asking for the verif verification pin number, something like that. So I gave it to them my. Korean name and you know service company and my cell phone number and they asked me the pin number the last one is six digit identification number ah, it was amazing at the time when they sent me that form I was like Yes, right. This is a real one because they sent me Korean way. So I was waiting. But the six digit identification number isn't get, getting through. So they say, wait on this page and don't go anywhere. Data validation is in progress. Uh, due to the high load on the server, it may take a few minutes. You know, something like that. I'm an idiot. I can get the six digit identification number after my mobile service. Ser service provider send to me then enter your email please so i gave my email again and they checked so i went back to my email gmail and i checked i didn't get any email from them and they say checking in progress please wait so are you checking and you say yes please wait and they say the last step of verification within five minutes you will receive an sms with a code on your phone please note that this is not a payment transaction and keep saying same one so enter the sms code in this chat but i didn't receive then amazingly they say my samsung credit card app payment if i put this number the payment will get through so they gave me this pin number and i put the you know my pin number on my cell phone and they say ask me pay for two, 923 dollar 32 dollars something like that then i say yes because i didn't have that enough money on my credit card then i asked them why should i pay for it with my credit card and he say please he say there has been an error you know mm, oh ah okay they say when i pay for the money through my credit card then i can see the order on my s app hmm. because you know i didn't have enough money on my credit card that's what i give my all my number i mean information i was i was sure it didn't get through then they say there, ha there has been an error. Now you need to enter your bank account today. Login and password. You can enter these data in this chat before it, right? Secret. <laughs> what is wrong? I asked them. Due to technical error, the server cannot send you the money in the standard way. You must enter your account details to receive the money. So I say, now it is something wrong. Why? Why? I don't see this order on my SE account. I asked them and he say the order will appear on the website after verification and money is received. Huh. So I believe that time. And then everything not get through on the proposed and I was dropped this time. No, because my bank has money so if I send them, you know, all the information about the bank probably the money all go through so this wasn't my thing so i dropped order so look at i send to so i say sorry 
your order hasn't been taken because of the technical problem. Well, I don't know why. Your order not showing directly on SEM. And then could not send the message. Hmm. I was idiot. And see up there and I went back to Gmail and I pressed the validate val validate deal and procure payments again and it say like that. So all gone. Message gone and Gmail gone. So I noticed this was scam and now even email changed so I'm give you caution so it could be you today so watch this video and all be careful if you are the new to online platform good luck this is this is a superman you can get onto the sc.com and search superman then you can probably know, uh, find me let's give and take the information Thank you. Bye-bye.